<laughs> um, yesterday, I'm mean, sorry, Friday, uh, while driving on the street, I saw um, some people that live on the street, some homeless people, and I, I, I've seen them around. They live in the back of a, a business. It's some bushes. They have a little house made, and they got cards and. And uh, I'm waiting for the light, and I'm just right next to them, and I see them, and they are just in in their own world, in 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 that moment, that situation that they have at hand, and and it struck me so hard because I realized they they look so happy so normal so you would think that the fact that they live on the street they would look somewhat depressed or something maybe they are I don't know but the way they looked at me they were all it's a group of four or five people uh, from 60 65 years old and they're all always hanging there they all live together like a small community but what struck me is that they were talking and they were so alive, so, so, so in the moment. So it struck me like, how would another, any of us who have a home and have a place to go to and, and a bed, a warm bed and food and a hot shower. And we sometimes tend to now be grateful for what we have and these people are just like under all conditions you know the weather conditions that are there when it rains that you put a tarpaulin on top of the bushes and, and boom there they are and they even have pets with them <clears throat> so that you know that that just struck me and, and what I saw was these people have no time to really worry about either yesterday or tomorrow. All they have at hand is this moment. And that's where they are at. Every single moment, every single moment. And I, I, I drive past them almost every day or every other day. And I see them just like it's in the morning and they're either sharing a little piece of food or they're talking or petting their dog or doing something. But they always look busy or like they're doing something. But I never see them, you know, just like sitting there looking sad or anything. So he brought me to this point in, in, in which, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've helped them in the past. I, I've taken them boxes of food that I collected and bought and just put it together and take it to them. And But I haven't done it lately. So it... it brought me back to the question in, in, in the, well, you know, at one point are we a bystander of situations, you know, at, at what point do we really take part in what goes on in the world? And I said, well, I need to get back to them and, you know, collect some food and, and bring it to them. But then at the same time, I'm like, when? <laughs> Since I always seem to be busy. And, uh, at the same time, I, I, I thought about the fact that, well, maybe, you know, people that drive by, they might think, well, there's their own luck, there's their karma. It might be, it might be their karma, but at the same time, it, it, it poses the question, do they really know, are they really aware of, of why they are there? You know, and, and that, that brought me to the fact that many times when we do what we do or what goes on in life, uh, some situations are unfortunate and they just happened. But sometimes we don't know. We, we're just by ignorance that we, that we do what we do, you know. Uh, and, and I realized that, that the same consciousness that that inhabits this body that, that what I am. It's this contained by this body 
and and this is the extent of the knowledge of the universe that I have because all I have is this body. This body is I don't know anything outside of this body because everything is processed through this body. So my connection to the universe in this case is just this body that we have this body mind and so you know that phrase by Dogen says drop the body drop the mind so the fact that this physical body contains our consciousness it kind of encloses us and doesn't let us see that you know that other people like for instance these homeless people they are exactly they have they're just another another me another version of myself and then you get to oh well you know that's consciousness that it's expanding <coughs> it, that lives in each one of us some of us might have it less developed some of us might have it more developed but it's all the same it's all the, the same consciousness that lives in us lives in each one of every person in the world so I'm think I'm there thinking and then I drove off and I it just, you know, kept in my mind the fact that, that it seems so simple as, well, they're there, they brought it upon themselves, you might say. You might say, well, they need help. But I, I, I looked into it as, and, and it's been a, a question that I've been posing because as, as a Buddhist, you know, we, we all have this notion that we need to help, right? And we do. But at what point do you help? You don't help yourself. In other words, is if you help yourself, uh, others so much that you don't even help yourself, well, at what point are you really going to come and do something for you? And that's something that, and I thought, well, these people don't see that they you know they, therefore you know we're ignorant of what goes on so at what point do we help ourselves and then we're able to help others so it's it, it was just uh, that question kept in my mind and yesterday while we were here painting and doing all that I realized that you know we always have a teaching at every single moment we have a teaching and it might come by way of our partner spouse friend brother co-worker and they're there to teach us something about ourselves they're there to show us how we see the world they're a reflection of our perception and you might say, well, I don't have any issues with that or with anybody or, or with any situation. Well, then the fact that you don't have any issues in your perception is that's your <coughs> teaching right there. <laughs> and, and see that, okay, what is it? Am I, do I really don't have any issues or am I just tricking myself into believing that I don't have any issues? So that that uh, uh i kept that thought in my mind and, and i realized just that, that that we always have a teaching there's always there to teach us and uh, many years ago i i asked roshi when i first started being a student i asked him say give me a coin and he said your coin is your life <laughs> so that's been my coin for several years because there's really nothing harder to understand than our own lives. There's really, I mean, we might want to solve all these hundreds of coins, but what good does it do if we keep bumping ourselves, you know, hitting our feet with the same corner, or, you know, bumping our head against the same wall or door frame? So, by thinking of these people then you know what can I do to help them is like what can I do to help me <laughs> what can I do to you know be kind to myself and and 
really learn to discern what in many cases what, what, what to do what to do and then I come to the conclusion I don't know I don't know I guess like this morning when but last night Roshi told me oh you're gonna give the talk and I'm like okay I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to talk about <laughs> and and at the same time I realized that that putting thought into something takes you away from the idea of the uh, takes you away from the task that you have at hand so how many times do we have something to and then we spend more time thinking about doing it than then doing it and I've always thought about you know when we will say I'm gonna let go of this yeah, oh yes I'm gonna go let go of this and I'm and you just keep keep thinking about letting go but we never actually let it go it's like holding the hot coal in your hand oh yes it burns yeah but I'm gonna let it go when oh I will I will and and that that I think we do that every second in our, on, you know, in our lives, that, that there are things that we know we need to drop, but for some reason we got some attachment or benefit to what we do. Because it's convenient, maybe because we're holding someone by what we do. And it goes back to the fact that, you know, like I mentioned, we got our teachers next to us. And then, you know, we like we do something that we do to hold them there to so we can get something out of the situation. And then it, I I I thought of this phrase that I heard someone say that, you know, we become emotional terrorists because we hold people by our own thoughts or perceptions and, and because it's convenient for us to have them in whatever the situation might be. But we do these things that we do them to keep them either next to us or be friends or or spouse or whatever and at what point do we let go? At what point do we really, really, really just drop it all? I I I've realized many times that that as you might know I'm I'm always busy, always doing something. And then all of a sudden a few weeks ago it just started dawning on me that well I don't need to do all these things. You know. It's it's uh, uh something like realizing that you don't have to do anything but it becomes your choice and then when I say okay I'm not going to do anything anymore and I'm free of that feeling of having to help then this real feeling of helping but being really happy to help as opposed to being a, 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 an obligation to help so that when, 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 when I do that, when I help and I'm just like really willing to help and it brings you that happiness that you don't know what, why, it's just, you're just happy to do what you do. And going back to the people that, that, that I uh, um, saw on the street and brought me onto all this uh, 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 train of thoughts and feelings and I said, well, I, I will help them, you know, maybe they need it, maybe they don't, who knows, who knows, I don't know, but I said, well, I can do is try, so first chance, I'm going to just, you know, I, I'm sure I can collect clothes or food or just go ask them what they need, you know, you never know, it might be a toothbrush that they need. And you know, it's some things that are so simple for us to have. So, it, this whole, I guess, uh, what we're called tirade of 
thinking that I've been in the past two days has brought me to this this uh, uh, conclusion that I really, really don't know anything. 